Hi everybody, Russ from the West Ham Network. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new, Andy, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a bloody good subscribe. Like the video if you're up for tonight. Who can't be up for tonight? Obviously, the quarterfinal clash against Leon at the London Stadium tonight. We'll be there. Looking forward to it. Absolutely buzzing. And that's the only thing we're going to be talking about today, really. Um, you know, we talk about Celebrity Bake Off or something like that if you want to. But I think this has got more pressing matters. And uh, I bring with you today the... 7th of April's version edition rather of Hammers Headlines where we take the news that affected West Ham and present it back to you in association with the boys over at KUMB.com go check them out and go and leave a comment on their forum and their YouTube channel and all the news content they have on their website all good lads and um, so the first um, story affects um, the team selection for Leon there's a bit of confusion I think uh, there seems to be confusion around the availability of Leon star striker Carl uh, Toko uh, Kabembe, uh, who apparently was ruled out with COVID-19 um, and obviously we're set to welcome Leon tonight. We all know that. Um, and Peter Boss, who's the manager of Leon, uh, has built quite a strong side. They are a strong side, very, very attacking, not a little bit more susceptible going, you know, someone mentioned they're like Leeds. So I'll take that. Be it should be an exciting game tonight, and obviously the French outfit will be confident heading into the Europa League clash with West Ham, having dispatched Porto um, in the, in the last round. But it seems as though it may be that Leon have been dealt a blow, but haven't been dealt a blow about a Kimbembe's availability tonight. Um, he was set to not um, not feature at all, and, and indeed a report by. Uh, RMC Sports said he wasn't even going to travel to the London Stadium but photos circulated yesterday of, of Kimbembe training on the London Stadium pitch and when it came to announcing the Leon squad he didn't feature in the Leon squad that was announced so is he isn't he is he isn't he I don't know um, Peter Boss as I said the the, the manager uh, has denied this major blow um, when quizzed on uh, the matter in his pre-match press, press conference he um, he basically confirmed that he will be featuring the matchday squad but then he's not listed in the matchday squad that they've announced so I don't really know what's going on the 46 capped Cameroonian international has bagged 13 goals and five assists in 31 games for the league art outfit so far this term and um, is their main dude is the main dude I mean if he doesn't play then obviously Dembele will probably start he scored two goals the weekend against Angers so he scored a brace so we'll see but um, you know with his name not appearing in the match day squad and with the boss saying he is appearing is it a bit of Moisey smoke and mirrors in terms of team selection? We already know that Kakare uh, isn't going to be featuring the midfielder. He's out for a prolonged period of time. Probably not for both. Probably for both legs, definitely he won't be available for. But Kimbembe, who knows? The next story involves the windfall around the involvement in the quarterfinals. So apparently we'll pick up another 1.5 million euros for our involvement in the quarterfinals uh, of the Europa League tournament. So far, the club have earned around 10 million quid for taking part. Um, group league victories uh, and a draw and advancing past the last 16 are now looking at beating Leon and hitting the competition's financial big time. A win over the league art outfit could see us advance to the semifinals where we would take a further 2.4 million euros um, becoming available whilst the place in the final guarantees another 4.5 million euros uh, for the runners up and 8.5 for the winners um, so it's a massive incentive by itself uh, for the players who have all got you know clauses written into their contracts as well guaranteeing decent bonus payouts uh, for any involvement and success and obviously progressing into the Champions League next year. So obviously a big big money spinner for the club. Um, obviously we, we remain favourites at the moment to beat Lyon, um, but you've Barcelona clearly favourites to beat Eintracht Frankfurt, Frankfurt in ter particularly in terms of how Barca are playing in the last few weeks. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens, but um, yeah, it's it's good news. It's good news for the coffers and we'll talk about um, his Moise's summer spending probably tomorrow in tomorrow's Hammers headlines. And the last one is just a little bit of fun, a little fun one for you. And a, a sort of almost at a, almost a, and finally, you know, sort of like that old, you know, news, news reports. And finally, there's a cat stuck up a tree or whatever. Um, <laughs> Aaron Cresswell 
is a better free kick taker than Lionel Messi. Not my words, the words of Colton Bloody Cole. Um, once, <laughs> once amongst the conversations of the greatest dead ball specialists of all time, Messi is yet to find the net from a free kick at his new club PSG. The silky magician surpassed long-standing rival Cristiano Ronaldo for set-piece goals when he netted his 57th career free kick for Argentina at the Copa America. Meanwhile... Obviously, Cresswell bagged a sensational set piece uh, the weekend against Everton. Maybe another one against Leon tonight would be nice. Um, and his um, free kick pedigree is significantly rising in the eyes of Colton Cole. The former West Ham forward believes the Englishman is now greater than Messi as a striker of a dead ball. I'm just going to pause just to let that sink in. Um, responded to Darren Bent's claim that Messi is the best free kick taker. Coley told TalkSport, what? You think Messi is better than, than Ward Prowse right now? I'm not sure. I think Ward, Ward Prowse is up there, but I'd put Cresswell above all of them. Although Cole's smirk at the end of the conversation confirmed he was trying to rile up his colleagues on the radio, he later tweeted, oh God, are people actually taking that joke seriously? <laughs> what chance have we got? <laughs> I just thought I'd give you a bit of a little bit of fun, a little bit of fun because all the nerves are going to start kicking in in a minute, aren't they? Um, for the Leon game, as I said, if you are around here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a subscribe, um, and also you know tune in at the end of the game. We'll be do hopefully doing if, if we win uh, a live reactions from outside the London Stadium. If you see myself and Anton walking around um, talking absolute rubbish. Feel free to jump in and and have and have a word, and have a question with us, and have a chat. And uh, I'll be back um, tomorrow for the Hammers headlines, and tomorrow lunchtime for the match day debrief. Oh, 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 getting nervous now. Anyway, so take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Stay lucky. Stay cheeky. And I'll see you guys very very soon. Take care, my friends. Ciao ciao for now.